A massive clash for the Wattle Park animals this week as we take on South Melbourne Football Club in some round eight thirds action. If you've been loving the Wattle Park season so far and you've been enjoying all of the vlogs, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. So McDonald is back in. Um, I went to the physio over the last couple of weeks and did some exercises and the shoulder was pulling up pretty well. I went to training on Tuesday and got through unscathed. No footies fell from the sky and um, knocked my socks off, so that was pretty handy. I went to the physio on Wednesday and he taped up my shoulder. Now, when I went to the physio, he taped up the shoulder for training, but I had not shaved my shoulders. And I've got a hairy chest, I've got a hairy neck, but man, do I have a hairy back and shoulders. I knew that I had to get through Thursday night training, and if I did, the positive would be that I would be playing this week. Uh, but the negative would be that I'll have to take the tape off. I don't know if you've ever had strong sports tape on your shoulders or on your legs or on your ankles, but it was torturous getting it off. I don't know where to start. I think it's staying on forever. As I said earlier, we had eight players go out this week. We're talking Scotty Walton, Cam Moratore, the Sketch brothers who have been lighting up the track. Baker was out. Not only just eight players, eight of your real spine players. Jeez, we really... <laughs> Park, parking up at Albert Park, I was thinking, geez, we're really going to have to turn it on today. Um, I am back. I was out for two games. We're down here at Albert Park, across the road from the Junction Oval. So there's a little bit happening today. Um, we're playing at 11.40, so I play my best footy when I've had my beauty sleep. Some of my worst games have been, well, we have to be there at 8.20. It's early in the morning. Um, I'm a little bit miserable, so... Today, I'm up and about. I've had my full seven, eight hours, and um, yeah, can't wait to get back out no there. There's, there's a little bit of nerves, because like you haven't played in a little while, but um, just want to get out there, get a couple of kicks. Oh man, I had... How have you got a moon boot on, and I'd, you're expecting to play? I had too many beers last night, I feel horrific. Oh, how bad, on the scale of one to ten? Like, I was sitting on the couch watching Collingwood, I didn't realise how many I was drinking, because I wasn't getting up to get them. Yeah. I was just saying, oh yeah, grab me another one. I had too many. So you didn't find out about the draw then, I assume? If that's I actually bad, didn't watch a single minute of the game. What do we feel? What do we feel? Oh, I thought you were questioning me. I thought we were getting quizzed, but oh, I don't have any questions. Um, I brought I brought Lenny along today, who's um who's going to be he's going to be assisting coaching us in the future. Today he's going to go to the Carlton game, but in the Is next he few get weeks a, a gig today. A well, he's going to do the pre-game rev up today. Up in the room. Next week I'm running the water for the mob. But what has Checker said? It was lift his game because he's been a bit out of form as a late. I feel. Yeah, because he told me that he gave away fifty against all and that's how we lost the game. Yeah. Happy with. We need. It. Yeah. Either helmet checkers or 200 ranking points checkers. Yeah, what I know. checkers are we going to get today? Well, Lenny's been working with Skevs a bit. Um, so he's come down from Div 1 down to the, the Div 12 resis to help out. So I left my boots at home, forward. Cardi. I left my boots Wait, at home. Wait, what happened? I left my boots at home. What, what does that mean? You're going to wear runners? No, yeah, I left my home. I don't know how. What is no, that? No, no, no. We was getting um, some boots out the car. Well, you need some good, good boots because you're doing the kick outs, yeah. I heard. Yeah. How, how was that going yesterday, your, uh, your practicing? Yeah, not good, mate. Not good, honestly. Not good. But, you know, we'll have a crack. I know, Lenny. I'm in some strife. But we're up. No worries. So, um, the man has been in a moon boot all week. And he kept telling me. He kept telling me, I'm going to play. I'm going to play. And I said, there's no way. He walked in, a, in on a moon boot today. Um, yeah, I got him in. I got him in with a moon boot. Stability until the right last there. minute. I was just keeping it stable until I can... You should run out with the moon boot. You could be the first... Division 12 resis or ever footy this, this, this is wild. This is wild. This, this is 2019 Phil Davis before the grand final. Yes. Yeah, this is a 20 minute pre game fitness Yeah, test. the issue is it's not a grand final, it's a round six game against the bottom every, of the ladder. Every game is a grand final. That's how we got to treat it. It's a good it mentality. Every game, you got to play it like it's your last, because it might be. So it would be, it actually, it actually might, might be. be. <laughs> it actually might be. So, if you want to put the screenshot of um, what I put in the group chat last week, Shay left his jump at the ground. Which, that happens. I mean, Bailey Which, did it. Yeah. Oh, he thought he had it and he had it in his bag. Yeah, yeah. but then Shrey lost his shorts, so. No, I didn't lose them. Check out his room. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what, that's so what Shrey, what took his, Shrey took his pants off in Checker's room, which is not really negotiable. And now, Shrey's left his boots at home. So what's he gone and done? He's asked me if he can wear my boots. Those, those are supposed to be safe for special occasions. It yes, they're pretty schmick. And they're pretty schmick because I only got two touches in them. So well, they're well, pretty new. Lucky you're not giving someone like Jaro the boots. Oh, Trey probably. Oh, uh, it would. Uh, they'd be yeah, they, they, clean. Yeah, they'd be exactly. brand new. Ugh. Barely run. 
It just feels really weak. So, I don't know if you know, if you saw, I was announced for the biggest game the other day. I did yesterday. say that. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, mate. Yeah, thanks. Um, I misstepped my judgment and I called out Robbo. And uh, I think I've forget, forgotten who Robbo is. Two things. I said, Robbo, I'm coming for your head. Oh, that's a um, dangerous thing to say. And you're in for a long day. And then he replied with, can you get weeks in an exhibition game? So, <laughs> I might have to go do some sessions with Max Viney or something, because... You've only got two weeks to prepare yeah, for that. Well, you're in a bit of trouble. I guess I guess it's a lost cause now. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're wearing these the other time. Is this like a... It's a ritual. Lucky? Yeah, it's a ritual. Every, so, every game? I wouldn't say luck. I'd just say more fear. Fear? Yeah. Towards the opposition? Yeah, because so if do you I don't... Wear, hanging, or? I'll, I'll, so, I'm going to start the game like this. Go up to my opponent. Ready for reenactment? I'd be fearful as well. And action. Oh, okay, to be my opponent real quick. Good luck, mate. What the hell? See? See the fear that I've instilled exactly. in this man? Now he's going to be distracted. That's what he'll be thinking about all game. Josh! Joshy! Sorry, Top 10. I'm still an A. New faces as well. We spoke about it training. Everyone's about to be a leader out there with their voice. All right, we've got to, normally we have this stack of experience in this team, but we've got a lot of fresh faces. So we need to make sure if you're a fresh face or you are someone with a bit of experience, voice is going to be so important today because we need to like lead. Um, and we got Lenny here who's going to do our wrap up. Today. Yeah. He's going to the Carlton game, so everybody has to stick around and watch, but he's going to give us a rev up. So. It's like I'm running water for you boys in right Oakley. Yeah. 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 Big game today in South Melbourne. Importantly, I, as I said before, kick it to space, and most importantly, go animals. Come on! Let's go. How do you got to run around? Talking shit about us as well, fellas. Make them know about it. Check that yeah, fuck around. Yeah. 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 Set the tone. Let's go, dogs. First we're fight. Anything to say? Uh, we're going that way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like they're going to hang around for the first half and might even push us. So don't get disgruntled because I reckon we're going to run out the game really well, yeah. especially over the four quarters. So um, lots of voice. Stay connected and um, let's get this done. Yeah. <laughs> It was actually really exciting going down to full forward, knowing that Will Taylor was my ruckman. So Checkers came to me during the week and said, you're going to start in the ruck. And I was all for it. Uh, he gave me a signed shin guard of his own. Yes, he signed his own shin guard. I put my trusty Charlie Combin and Sam Draper football card in my shinny for good luck. And I felt all right. Getting amongst the footy early was good for me. I think I got a, a hand pass or a few taps, but... Yeah, getting amongst the contest was, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. We didn't start the game particularly strongly. Um, South Melbourne, as I said before, second last on the ladder, got off to a bit of a flyer. They had this number five at full forward who looked like he was licking his lips um, at us today because he was clunking everything and he was slotting everything. They kicked the first two goals of the game and then we had a nice little play through the middle where Jimmy Greaves contested quite well at half forward he gave a little handball over the top to myself and there was nothing between me and the goals so um, i snuck out the back broke through 50 and kicked it and it was fading right 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 i didn't know whether it would sneak in but within the first seven or eight minutes of my comeback mcdonald's got himself on the scoreboard with a snag hey. cookson how are we mate how's uh caden started yeah he kicked the first snag was that his first touch First thing, yeah. Later on in the quarter, I got another little chip kick over the top to me. I took an uncontested mark, 35 out, slight angle, maybe 45 degree angle. I took the mark and started going back to the top of, top of my mark, um, but I don't feel super comfortable doing drop punt set shots from further than 25 out. So I was probably 30, 35, maybe 40 out. So I had this rush of blood and I did a Jordan Degoe, Shea Bolton, just take off, push off with power and try and snap it and try and catch everyone off guard. And as it left my boot, I went, oh, this is going to go right to the line. 
And then as it was floating towards the line, I thought, this is barely going to make the goal square. When he was lining up for the second one, I thought, geez, this is... We've got Monash Blues vibes about this game. But then I turned away and I all of a sudden hear a whistle go and it's a South Melbourne mark. And I turned to see that the ball hasn't travelled the required distance. And on upon replay, Cody McDonald's gone for a snap. Our back line was under the pump early. That seems to be a tale of, uh, you know, every Wattle Park episode is our back line just is just under the cosh for multiple minutes of every match um, they toughed it out as best they could Dan Thorson had 40 touches in the end he was prolific um, Bailey McCabe now we showed some edits last week of Bailey McCabe that weren't that flattering but the man responded with an awesome game um, and I thought him and Dan started the term quite well uh, which held us still within touching distance but we were certainly on the back foot at quarter time Oh, that's too far out. You're too far out. My yeah. friend, you are unbelievably good at set shots. You are unbelievably good at them. Yeah, i got to rush a blood. You, you should be on two goals, mate. I know. Jordy did it well in that last one. Unfortunately, that one over the top. Let's really utilise it because we've got legs to get onto it. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... <coughs> A lot of Irish bodies aren't really familiar with the footy. Yeah. So let's make sure we capitalise, especially on this quarter. Right? Yeah. What I'm impressed with is sometimes we're too deep and then the mids and the back line can't get it down. But I've loved how we're getting up and like giving them an option for that next kick. We're not two or three kicks away. So uh, I've been loving that. And then they've been struggling to get that switch as well because we're all onto it. So I think it's been a good start. Um, if we lock it in a little bit more and just convert, we'll be back. Let's slow it down. Too. We'll get the footage slow down. Yeah. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's definitely much more intense than I was expecting. I was expecting to just, like, see just a couple of, you know, pudges, my sort of size. They also just... drop players down. Sometimes, I don't know if they have, but when they go to South, they drop that off the gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just disjointed. Yeah. Probably weren't on. But I think we're on now. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. feels good. I think we started a bit disjointed. That's, but it happened. This is not the worst thing. Like, what are we down? Three goals? Fuck, we can make that up. Starts now, starts now, right? Come on, boys. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Second quarter kicked off and number five got off the chain. Unstoppable number five. Um, so South Melbourne play in St Kilda. Literally like 15 of their team were just Irish backpackers. So it was awesome. Um, chat to them. And they're big, strong, like farm strong Irish lads. Um, and I think their full forward was Irish. But um, he had a beautiful kick at the footy. Yeah, looked like a very professional thirds footballer the old number five uh, anyone that you put on him he would just kick another goal he just kept kicking goal after goal and credit to him he's got a good good frame to be a full forward uh, and he was slotting it get him off the ground it is no, but we need goals though yeah, hey, get him off the ground. He'd be bring it through the midfield. McDonald. Yes, B. McCabe, number 23. He often is quite uh, outspoken about how he doesn't like playing down back. And I think he used a fair bit of aggression out on the footy and was just lapping it up, just found a lot of the peel, which I think was really good for Baz. And it, was, it showed for the team. He had a really good partnership down back uh, with... The toe ball, Dan Thorson. Can't call him the nutsack anymore because he's lost his partner. We need you four to work hard. Joey, we need you up more, mate. All right, Kados, get around the crumbs. We just need presenting Because at the moment, the back lines are literally looking down. Dan said to me, he goes, we're kicking at 50 metres every time. The smallest player on that team is six foot. All right, we're not going to get those overhead marks. We're quick, we're good with our foot skills. So we're not going to spray out if you go in there full time and you fuck it up. Alright? Yeah. Just yeah. have a crack. I don't know if it's because we came here we thought we were playing one of the bottom sides or something, but maybe we're playing a little bit self censored. Not saying we're playing a selfish game, but there is times we're running in going, oh, I didn't take the mark. Someone else will pick up my crumbs or oh, I'm not in the contest, I'll just pull back 10 metres. And that's me, that's me as well. I'm not saying. Anyone, you know, I'm fucking doing it too. So before the game, we and all the week training, we're talking about voice. It's been low. The voice needs to be The voice needs to pick up. We need some leadership in there. The one thing I'm going to ask you, though, what can we add one thing to your game, every single person in the room? What's one more thing you can do to help the team? 
So if it's me going up in the rock, it's fuck. Hit the contest, I lose it. I'm gonna try to tackle that bloke. Or I, I hit the contest and I hit Geordie. I've got to fucking lay a shepherd. I keep going up and I go, tap it there and go, job's done. And that's me, but I know everyone's doing that. They're going up to the mark, still it, oh, next one, job's done. We've got to find that next thing, all right? So it's this, what one thing do you gain? One thing to what you're doing currently that can help the team. It's getting beaten all across the park at the moment, but um, I don't feel like we're out of it. That's the weird feeling, like, I feel like we're one or two away from getting ourselves back in it, which is exciting. And what's, what's the margin? I think it's 40 points at half time, which is doable. We've kicked five, six goals in the turn before, so we've shifted a few things. We have a lot of personnel out, but um, hopefully we can really ramp it up this term and try and get ourselves back in it. Set the example for the teammate next to you, alright? Come on. We need to lift the standard. Yeah. We've got a fing half to do it, okay? Yeah. Come on! Here we go! Good luck! Come on! In the third term, we got one of the first clearances. I went to go for the mark, and the sun was in my eyes, and as I was like trying to put my hands up to mark, I felt a chopping of the arms. So I got a free kick, which was handy. So as I was walking back to the top of my mark, I asked Will Taylor, Do I go a drop punt or a snap? And I'm looking around like, you, you talking to me? And I said to him, I'm like, mate, you do these, you do these goal king challenges for, for a reason. Like, you are, you are the man. Go back, trust yourself in the droppy. It's too far out for a snap, brother. We can't be doing this. In the third quarter, um, the ball goes inside 50. And all I hear is, I'm being held, umpire. And I look over and Will Taylor has fully cracked it. He's fully lost his marbles. He's having a dog of a day. I think he's probably averaged like one or two touches over the last few weeks. When I say it's feast or famine in the forward line, I genuinely mean it. I wasn't seeing much of the footy after I got taken out of the ruck. The bloke I was playing on was a little bit physical. And I don't mind a bit of physicality, but chasing the footy going back to the goal square. I was just trying to get to the contest and I was getting held uh, and the umpire, very blind in the contest, didn't see it and I like to think I kept my cool a lot of the time on the footy field. This time it just boiled over. Another great play, this is probably one of our best plays of the day. We go through the middle, great ball movement from everyone involved, it gets to Jimmy Greaves. He approaches the 50. Now, I was coming in from the flank, and I I thought, is Jimmy Greaves going to be able to chisel one towards me? Probably not. Is he going to be able to kick it all the way through for a goal um, on the full? Potentially not as well. So I was just sort of halving my bets. Um, so I trailed the ball in as Jimmy Greaves broke through 50. He had the shot. I saw it was falling short, so I sprinted. And it was like this perfect lob through ball that ended up going over the top straight into my bread basket. So late in the third, Dossie found himself with another set shot after the ear massage. And I don't know if it was because little card man uh, filming the game was a little bit too close or if Kate and McDonald just got the, the yips a bit. He just couldn't seem to split the middle. So we might have to, we might have to do a bit of uh, goal kicking and training a bit more, I think. Watching on my god, it's reasonably close. I know you are. You're two legs into the biggest game. 56 points. He's... I can't believe they're down 50. Outrageous. <laughs> no, fair play. You've, you've played really well. Limited opportunities. You've done really well. I think really I kicked 3-3. Well. Three, three. Yeah. Oh, you should have gone the snap. I can't believe you went the I went the snap when I went the drop in. I went the drop in when I went the, when I should have gone the snap. I was ready to take take a mark behind the goal. I was I backed you for every I, second I keep of getting ear massages. Yeah, mate, they won. Well, that um, last one, do you reckon that was a mark? you in the head? <laughs> Um, yeah, number 15, he's giving you a bit of chirp. Yeah, I know. Are um, you going to have any minutes in the midfield? Probably not. <laughs> I'd go up if you want. Line goal I would love you to go sound? up. What's the title of the vlog this week? <laughs> um, it's three quarter time. I thought we battled really well in that third term. Um, obviously we're not going to win, but we haven't waved the white flag. We've cracked in all day. And, on another day, it feels like it should be could be closer. Do you almost want to remain the lone goal kicker? For, for a nice, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Nice he doesn't have to answer. Of course, he does. Abs absolutely. Nah, go nah. in the middle. Get your 15 touches this quarter. Oh, I'll push up the ground. Then. 
I'll get in yeah. there. If, if, you, if you can, what are you down? 50. 56, yeah. yeah. If you get it down to 30, if you win this quarter by 26, it's a win. We're eight goals down. We could end up 20 goals down. I'm not going to be mad if we do, but as long as we take the game on here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it's a practice Once quarter. Start. Because we did it against St. Mary's and we fucking played individual footy. This time it's, I'm going to fend off, find some bodies, lay some Hot shepherds. Footy. Have some fun. All right. Oh, that's oh, that's that's right. Big check man. Now this happens most weeks. He is essentially sought after from the opposition. It's the mullet and the moustache, but they just go after the big check man. And um, there was three ruck contests in a row where he grabbed it out the ruck and tried to barge through and they tackled him to the ground. And it's one where like, if someone grabs it out the ruck, you usually tackle them, but you don't take him to the ground because there's not much point. There was one, two, three times in a row where they tackled him to the ground. And by the third time, he was disgruntled. So Checkman went, Scott Thompson and Barry Allstyle did the headlock. Our coach, Checkers, has gone and put someone in a headlock. I wasn't I wasn't very amused by this. I think Checkers, at the start of every game, says, let's be friends, let's not talk back to the umpire. And he wasn't friends with the players, and he did talk back to the umpire. Yeah, it was, it was quite funny. Soft headlock went for about five seconds and we all had a bit of a laugh afterwards. Now poor old Jarrah on one ankle. Uh, I did say to him at the start of the game, you're crazy for playing but he showed up he punched in clocked on and took a mark on the 40 metre line and did not waste any time he turned to find big check dog and I saw I did see a flying K to McDonald which I thought he was going to take it but Checkers held his ground, Scr scratched Dossie on the way through, which uh, was not his fault. It's just heat of the contest. And then Jarrah also gave it to our fourth line, saying that's how you deliver the footy. And credit to him, that is how you deliver the footballs. Thanks, man. Enjoy it. Thanks for coming. Thanks. I had a crack. Not a good one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, you battled hard. You had a shot there late. You got to get how effective you are. I don't see this icing. What's happened? Yeah, first time ever icing either. Uh, calf or knee, something's going on in there, but we'll work it out. Did That's alright. Did you get knocked early in the game? Or? Like, very late. Very late. And in my head, the first thing that came to my head was the biggest game of Resi's two weeks. Yeah, you want to make sure you get off on that, make sure yeah. you're ready for that game. Yeah, you lead Lockley's to victory in two weeks. <laughs> Frustrating. Frustrating. Couldn't get any any of the footy, really? Just one of those games? No. So? No, just disappointed. Disappointed? Just, yeah. Had to crack the boys, fought hard in the second half, just got jumped in the start. They had a full side in. Um, I don't think the ladder reflects where they are at the moment, so... A bit flat about the result, but that's thirds. We had six of our best go out. They obviously had players come in because um, they had a full side and they, they were too good for us on the day. So back to the drawing board. I think we potentially are playing Friday night next week. So um, just a six-day break, get back into it, and uh, yeah, we'll be right. All right, guys, that's it for another Wattle Park Animals vlog. Um, your support has not gone unnoticed. The subscribers and all the comments and everyone getting around us, lads, has been really, really amazing. Like, it, it, it's it's the reason why we like bringing these vlogs out and bringing you guys along for the ride. Um, it's been really, really cool. So we appreciate the support. We appreciate you getting around all the content. And we'll see you for another episode next week. Cheers, guys.